Hey everyone, so some of you wanted to know what's on my computer and how I use or abuse my computer in that sense. So today we're gonna make a video on what's on my computer. I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> so let's start with my desktop. So yeah, we have this background. I will show you where I get my backgrounds in a minute. And if I think about it, I will link it in the description of this video. So my backgrounds usually coordinate with my iPad and my iPhone. So I have the same background on all of my devices. I don't know why, but that brings me calm. Calmed, calmness. Anyways, continuing, we have, of course, OBS because I'm recording right now. We have Adobe. Now, I still need to remove my Adobe because my subscription ended and I still had my school license. I don't want to pay 60 euros, which is basically $70 a month to use Photoshop. And I don't even use Premiere because that's slow. Then we go on to clean my Mac. And as you can see, I barely have any RAM available, but let's ignore that. This is basically where I clean everything out. This is where everything goes. I can open clean my Mac, run a clean, <laughs> but doing that now is not as interesting. Then this is Magnet. Now Magnet is very, very useful. For example, if I open my browser, I can go ahead and drag it to the side like that. If I drag it up to the corner, that's a basic Windows feature, I know, but it wasn't on Mac, so I needed it. And basically, Magnet, it was $4 or something like that. It, it's totally worth it. As you can see, I can just drag that to sides. So that's really cool. And next to that, we have my eGPU. Do not buy an eGPU. It's terrible. It's basically an external graphics card for your Mac. I had nothing but troubles with it. I will never buy one again. I'm just hoping to get an M1 Mac soon. <laughs> and of course, my keyboard is in a Zerdy instead of QWERTY. And that's basically the top row. Nothing more <laughs> interesting about that. Then we go to Finder. Now in Finder, I have of course my iCloud drive, my desktop, and everything in here is linked to iCloud. So as soon as I put something on my desktop or I download something, it goes straight onto iCloud. Very useful feature. So there's nothing on my desktop right now. I have of course my documents where I put my Roblox shirt, some extra stuff, some YouTube stuff. And then of course the videos that I edited, I only have one in here right now. And then my thumbnails are of course where my thumbnails go. So this is where all the magic happens, I guess. Then we also have a section called unsynced and this is where all of my screenshots go. Because I do not want all of my screenshots to upload to iCloud immediately, I want to judge them and delete them first before I do that. And then we have my downloads folder. <laughs> do not question what's in there. It is terrible. <laughs> and of course we have my messages, calendar, mail, basic apps, Google Chrome, 30. Very, very useful. I installed Ferdy a few weeks ago and I've been loving it ever since. So Ferdy basically allows you to have multiple apps or multiple browser apps in one. So my Discord is in here. I have Twitter in here so I can immediately go to Twitter. I have my Instagram. Then I also have a Roblox in here. Oh, I was reading about <laughs> KSI apparently. And of course my mail accounts, Facebook. Yes, I'm that old. Uh, Instagram, browser, calendar. So basically everything that I want is in here and I don't need to put apps in here like Messenger and Discord so this doesn't fill up as much all because of Ferdy so amazing app love it then of course we have my notes let me put that to the side a little bit and my notes I basically put like the text that I want to do I can copy it and if I like copy this right here I can paste it on my phone that's one perk of being on a Mac so you can immediately copy it to your iPad or your iPhone if you just copy it and then you paste it it's so useful. Moving on, we go to Final Cut Pro and this has been my video editor for the last three years and a bit. And of course, this is where I edit all of my videos in. This is my main editor. I would not use anything else. I am so happy with Final Cut. And I used to have Premiere before that. And honestly, the render times in Premiere Pro are terrible compared to Final Cut. So I'm so happy that I got a Mac and I switched to this. Would never switch back. Well, saying never is risky, but... <laughs> For the time being, I will definitely not switch back. Then we move on to Affinity Photo. And as I said, I had Photoshop before, but my license ran out from school. I do not want to pay $70 a month. So I thought myself how to work with Affinity Photo because that was $50 one time pay and I do not need to pay for it again, which is amazing. And I feel like Adobe is just a rip off at this point, especially learning to work with programs like these because you can basically do everything you want that you had in Photoshop. It just takes a bit of a learning curve for some things, but you definitely have everything in here. It also exists for iPad and iPhone, I think as well, but I wouldn't necessarily use it on my iPhone. But yeah, this is 
this is amazing. Then of course we have Spotify and if you want you can quickly <laughs> go to my list. If you see any song you like let me know in the comments below uh, or let me know how bad my taste is. I don't really care. <laughs> Whatever. And then on here we also have a Shadow and Shadow is basically my game computer so it's very unorganized. I just have all my games in here so uh, I play The Sims, I play Euro Truck Simulator. I have been playing Minecraft again recently but this is basically a computer that you have in the cloud so I can go back to my Mac just like that and then I can go back to Windows like that and you basically play in the cloud so your electricity bill will be low and your battery of your laptop will not go down a lot because you're basically, it's like watching YouTube but you're actually playing a game so it is really amazing to use and it's very fast so I love that. Then we go to my browser and I basically have nothing in here so it starts up as Google. I have my main apps on top here and then I have my command center which I have created on identity.com which is a very useful website. I use it a lot to go to where I need to go. So I have all my links here. If I want to go somewhere that I use a lot then uh, I can go there. So if I click Twitter I immediately go to Twitter. Very useful stuff. I will link it in the description if I think about it. Most of my wallpapers come from this website over here. I usually just go into either abstract or um, minimalism, nature, dark. Those are all of the things that I like. So if you just go to nature, you can go ahead, pick one you like. So for example, this one, and then you can pick the resolution that you want. So it's very useful to have. I love that website. Then another website I use a lot is HDQ Walls. Um, I use a little less than Wallpaper Craft, but this one has some really neat wallpapers as well. Just scroll through them, find whatever you like. I will hopefully leave a link in the description. And another nice thing about identity is that you can make notes with hyperlinks inside them. So if I want to go and shop somewhere, for example, uh, Cool Blue, which is a Dutch website, I could click that and it takes me to Cool Blue without having to go and make a tile for it. So that's very useful. And then last but not least, we have my dashboard. And now my dashboard is very, very simple. I have my browsers and socials in here. So I have three browsers. <laughs> Don't ask me why. Then I have entertainment, so basically Steam, Minecraft, Roblox. Most of it is on my cloud, as I showed you previously. Then my enhancer, so clean my Mac. CCleaner, I still need to remove that one. I prefer clean my Mac. Keyboard Maestro is something that you can do, like you can do Control C and it will type a full sentence out for you, so that's very useful. Then we have work, my auto clicker, calculator, calendar, and basically all the basic stuff that you can see right here. And that was a tour of my computer. I don't know if a lot of people will watch this, but if you have, thank you so much for watching it. My computer is not as interesting as you might have hoped. I don't really keep a lot of stuff. I tend to remove a lot of stuff uh, because I don't like to clutter up and that's basically it. Now, if you have any tips for more minimalism, definitely let me know. I think my favorite app is Ferdy over here because I did get to clean a lot of my dock apps and I get to keep that clean, so I love that. Now, anyways, I'm gonna leave it at that. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe.